Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to change your router's IP address. So the first thing that you need to do is to connect to your router uh, via the MAC address. And the reason why you're connect, you should connect by your MAC address is that by making, by making this change of your IP address, you will lose connectivity to your router. So in order to maintain connectivity, the best thing to do is to connect via the MAC address while making these changes. So connect to your router. Go to IP, DHCP server. Click on networks. And then we're going to edit the network. So we're going to change the IP address range uh, from 190 to 168. 88, we're going to change it to seven so that's that's going to be the new network so we're going to change to 192.168.7 so that's a new network next we're going to go to ip addresses and we're going to change the ip address on the bridge interface so the reason why we're changing on the bridge is that based on this configuration the ip address is assigned to the interface which is a bridge but if you're if your configuration you had like Ethernet 1, like you had Ethernet 2, I mean, if you had Ethernet 2 or Ethernet 3 and so forth, you could make that change just the same. But Ethernet 1 is the one address. This is the this is a the port that will be connected to your modem. See, this is what you won't be changing this. Because this IP address is usually um dynamic or it could it or otherwise. See, but you won't be changing this. So we're going to change the IP address here on the interface. We're going to change that to 7. Change this to 7 also. OK that. We're going to go to IP and pool. We're going to, this is where the DHCP server issues its IP addresses from. So this is a range that it will use to issue its IP address. So we're going to change that to 7. And change this to 7 also. OK. All right, next step, we're going to just reboot the router. So go to system, reboot, click yes. You can wait about 30 seconds and then try and reconnect to the router. So the router has been rebooted. All right, before we connect, I'm just going to show you that the IP address is now saying 192.168.7.1. So we're going to reconnect and confirm that the address is the address has, has changed. So now we are seeing where the network address has changed, the interface address has changed, and also the IP address pool has also been changed. So that is how you go about uh, changing your router's IP address. This is a quick and easy way to do it. There are other ways you can, other methods that you can use, but this is an easy way to, um, an easy method to use. Uh, so if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please remember to subscribe. And if you have a comment, please leave a comment. If you are even a question, you can just leave a comment. And that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.